MBC has broadcast part of the phone conversations between Yoon Song Yeol's wife and a journalist. They contain Kim Gonnie's opinions on various controversial issues, including Me Too cases and former President Park Geun-hye's impeachment. What's more, the recorded conversations point to the possibility that Yoon spouse meddled in his election camp. But pundits say the ripple effects of the disclosed audio files are not as significant as was initially expected. MBC and the YouTube channel Voice of Seoul have disclosed part of the phone conversations between Kim Gunny and a Voice of Seoul reporter. The two had phone conversations for six months from July 2021. From what Kim said, it seems she meddled in her husband's election campaign even though she holds no official title there. She said things at the election camp were a total mess and offered the journalist to join it to collect information for her. She even offered to pay him 100 million won. She also appeared to be well informed in everything happening at the camp, even after her husband joined the PPP. Regarding former election committee chief Kim Jong-in, Yoon's wife said he was eager to join the camp because he knew he had something to gain there. The conversations also contains Kim's opinions on various political issues. She said ex-president Park Geun-hye was impeached by conservatives and the investigation into former Justice Minister Cho Guk was blown out of proportion because of the ruling party's excessive attacks. She added Cho's enemy is none other than the Democratic Party. She said it was the Moon administration that helped her husband emerge as a presidential hopeful. She said there are no Me Too scandals among the conservatives because they make sure to pay their victims. She expressed pity for former Chungcheongnam-do province governor Annie Jung, adding she and her husband were on Anne's side. While denying accusations against her, Kim said she's a very spiritual person who likes to have conversations with spiritual gurus. In a letter to NBC, Kim denied she had ever meddled in Yoon's political affairs or his election camp. She also apologised for her inappropriate remarks when criticising some liberal politicians involved in sexual exploitation. The PPP said Kim's right of objection has not been guaranteed sufficiently and vowed to announce its stance after the broadcast. The DP declined to comment, only saying it's up to the public to decide.